Hey everybody, it's Carrie, and we're going to do what I got for Christmas 2020. Um, so first, this is the last present that I opened. This is my favorite present, and I love my husband very much for getting this for me. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a link from him or something so that I can put this down below. But this is a little massager, so it has this nice little foamy pad thingy that goes over it. Um, it's not plugged in right now. Let me plug it in so I can show you what it does. Here. And the first push is just the massaging function and then the second push turns on the heating function. And you guys, this is a lifesaver. And you have to push and hold the button for it to turn off. Um, but it is set on a timer. I think it's 15 20 minutes and it automatically shuts off and the massagers rotate like every minute amazing amazing okay so next he got me some really cute comfy tops from Target um, I just wanted some new tops to wear with my favorite leggings at home which are the Savage X Fenty leggings um, I have them in black with the purple X on them I ordered them in the red print, so I'm still waiting for that, and I just ordered the gray ones last night um, because they're having a bomb-ass sale right now. But anyway, so I got this cute little, like, denim blue cropped sweatshirt with the little, like, quarter zip, so that is super comfy. And then, because I get cold sometimes, just this basic, like, half zip. Um, fleece. I do like this. The only thing that bothers me is the pockets are a little weird because they're floppy. But it's really just for at home or if I'm just going to run down to the gas station or something. It's not for like going out or anything. So whatever, no big deal. Next, I've always wanted to try Carolina Herrera. So he got me this cute little duo. And this is their regular um, Good Girl perfume and then the good girl Le, Le Gear Le, don't come for me I don't know how to say it but what I love about this and I've I've actually like recently come across a lot of like really nice like minis I just I love that they look like the bottles I got my mom a full size of the regular good girl for Christmas um but yeah, so I have quite a collection of minis right now. Um, and if you want to see that, see my perfume collection, let me know in the comments down below. I could definitely do that. Um, I love perfume. And then next, I got the ColourPop X Raw Beauty Christie whole collection. He got me the entire collection. I do wish it would have come in that super cute little custom box that they did, but it didn't. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna, hold on. Give me, give me a minute. Okay, so I took everything out of their boxes to make it easier to go through. So first we have the glosses. We have the first one in Wildflower, which it is, which is the super cute, ooh just kind of a, honestly it's just like a sheer pinky color with super fine micro glitters and then we have this clear one with glitter that's called glacier I really like their lip lux lip glosses um as some people don't but I I love them and then we have the liners. Oh. oh, it's so pretty. So this one is Spare Time. Uh, we have Marigold right there, which is kind of mustardy, but like on the brighter side. And then this one is woodsy which is a beautiful like almost 
it's kind of on the warm side, but it leans slightly neutral. And then we have the Super Shocks. This one is Olympic. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta take my scrunchie off because I'm gonna run out of space if I don't. So there is Olympic. This one is like a moss, which I think is going to pair beautifully with my ColourPop, the child palette. So that's like a moss. It's like this greeny gold kind of fool's gold color. Then we have mycelium. I know they all kind of look the same on camera, but they do differ in person. And then this last one is Campfire, which is so freaking beautiful. Oh my God. Okay. So that's Campfire right there. I didn't go super crazy on the swatches. That's them on the fingers. They're so pretty though. Okay. Let me wipe that off and then I'll come back and we'll take a look at the palette, the best part. Okay, now for the piece de resistance of the collection, the eyeshadow palette. It is so beautiful. Um, and so I, sw I already swatched everything on my hand to kind of save us time. So we have Puffball, Chantrell, Rainier, Old Growth, Evergreen, which is so beautiful. West Coast, Homegrown, Amanita, I think I said that right. Fiddlehead, Emerald City, which is a beautiful, beautiful color. PNW, and Let It Rain, which, uh, is such a stunning color like it's it's black with glitter but it's not like rainbow glitter they're almost like goldy pinky ready like fiery tones of glitter oh it's so be so beautiful i can't wait to use this palette if you want to see a get ready with me using this palette, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Um, I would love to use the entire collection in a get ready with me. So just let me know if that's something you want to see. I know it's kind of an old collection now, you know, ColourPop's come out with so many things since then. My husband bought me this at launch, but it was a Christmas present, so I couldn't get it until now. Okay, next, my husband got me this cute little faux leather backpack from Wild Fable at Target. Um, I needed a new little backpack. The one I carry now to work is my Harley Quinn one that my mom got me like three years ago, four years ago. Um, and I never really carried it much and I started carrying it in the last like couple of months and the handle on the top started coming off almost immediately. So I really love that backpack and I don't want to risk it getting like completely broken because it was expensive. So my husband got me this. It has a cute little pocket back here. It has a front pocket, of course the main zip pocket, and it's got an inside pocket and then a couple little like sleeves, which are good. I can put like my pens and stuff. Um, for the job that I do, I carry around notebooks and like 50 pens. I always have pens for myself, pens for anybody else. Um, it has really nice long straps that are adjustable. So yeah, I really like this. It's so cute and it's simple. So excited to move all my stuff into that bag tomorrow. And then finally, um, so like a month or two ago, I saw one of my favorite YouTubers, Sarah Ray Vargas, and she showed this pair of shoes. And I knew that I needed them from the moment I saw them. 
So I said to my husband, I said, please give me these shoes for Christmas. And he did. They're Vans. And I've only tried them on. I haven't worn them. Honestly, there's nowhere for me to go to wear them. And I will not wear these to work because they're $65 shoes. But guys, look how stinking cute they are. They are like, oh, so cute. <laughs> I want a bunch of pairs so that whenever these ones are no good anymore, I have a new pair to switch them out with because these shoes are just beyond freaking cute. They're so sick and cute. They're comfortable. I haven't had Vans in so long. So I'm so excited. Um, but anyways, that's what I got for Christmas this year. Um, my husband and I never really go super overboard on each other. I did buy him something that I told him I wasn't going to buy him. Um, but he's so happy that I did. It came in the mail today, um, two days after Christmas. Um, surprise, surprise. But he got it. He loves it. Um, I hope you guys had a good Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate. Um, and yeah, I, if you like my videos, like my content, please like this video. Feel free to subscribe. Check out my Instagram, my Instagram, and my TikTok. And yeah, I will see you guys later.